sinus stenosis is again is very very common. Uh. In Malaysia, it's estimated around 20% of Malaysians suffers from sinusitis and some of them don't even know they have sinusitis huh? <laughs> until they come for other things like headache you know uh, always have phlegm in the throat or always coughing then we find out they have sinusitis for this group uh, they are actually used to the nose block and they never actually complain yeah so uh, before we i proceed to sinusitis you must know what what are the what are what is sinus sinus yeah? sinus are actually air spaces around our nose surrounding our nose huh? there are basically four sinuses which is the, the big one called maxillary sinus, which is in the, in the cheek, frontal sinus, forehead, etmoid sinus, right at the corner of the eyes, and another one, sphenoid sinus, is a deeper sinus right in the middle of the, the nose. Yeah? So sinus sinus happen, we now find out that sinus happen when the drainage of the sinus is blocked. So because all these sinus, are, they produce liquid. Okay, what is the function of the sinus before that? Uh, because every day we breathe in a lot of dust, a lot of bacteria, we need a system to clear this thing that go that we breathe in. So sinuses actually produce liquid to stick to all those dust and bacteria and clear it through a drainage. So what happens if the drainage is blocked? So the mucus will get stuck inside together with bacteria and dust and all these things. And, and uh, bacteria love to grow on things that is uh, stagnant inside the sinus. So they get inflammation. You know, Once they get inflammation, they will have symptoms of sinus. Uh, sinusitis yeah so basically the most important thing is the sinus is that when the drainage is blocked later I explain to you why the new surgical technique fast works much better than the old one it's because of this drainage thing that we never addressed last time okay mm. uh, so there are actually two types of uh, sinusitis huh? one is acute chronic acute means patient who got a sudden infection so the patient will come with a headache, facial pain, thick mucus discharge, you know. Uh, so normally that we treat with antibiotic, you know, and uh, some nasal decongestant. Chronic sinusitis are usually due to the block drainage. So patients have recurrent, they keep on coming, keep on coming. And this group of patients is the one that we recommend surgery.